So we got a question from Eric. My question is about the Lean Made Simple program by Slade Jones. Okay, Slade wrote a program for us. It's up there on, the, it's in the download section of danjohnuniversity.com. It's a nice program based on the same principles as Mass Made Simple, um, but focused on leaning out. I found the program on DJU and also read Slade's book. I am three quarters through the program and really enjoying it as a bus bench break from my park bench type workouts. I think I've listened to almost all your podcasts and I don't remember you talking about the program. Have you done it? Dan John has not done it. I've done something similar and Slade and I uh, had a great conversation. Um, uh, in full candor, Eric, uh, the idea was to replace goblet squats for the high rep back squats in the, um, in the Mass Made Simple program. So we basically tried Mass Made Simple with much lighter squats, kept the complexes. Uh, we swapped out uh, bench press for military press because we all kind of wanted to do that instead. And, um, and I think you'll notice a lot of Slade's program fits that. And since we weren't force feeding ourselves, uh, uh, we, we did well. Um, I think it was timing that didn't, it was a very wet, wet, snowy winter. And uh, a lot of us were all, like today, you know, I was out shoveling snow six times in the last two days. Shoveling snow and doing high rep squats at the same time uh, is, I, I'm not sure that's a good combination, okay? So, uh, park bench, bus bench, real quick for those you don't know. Years ago, my boss, the, the late Archbishop George Niederauer, wrote an article, and he'd written many on this same topic, called Bus Bench Prayers versus Park Bench Prayers. And the idea is, there are certain times you pray and you want something, you know, uh, I don't, my, my mom has cancer, please get her cured. And there's other times where one would pray or commune or meditate, where you're really not asking anything. Um, you take a bus bench, you put it in front of a bus stop, you expect a bus to come. Take that same bench, put it 60 feet back into a park, you expect nothing in a park bench. Uh, if squirrel comes by, great. If squirrel doesn't come by, that's great too. So I took that concept and I ran it into this idea. Certain times of the year we want to train with specific goals. Like if you're going to do a really hard diet and you follow it, I don't know, uh, for me it'd be the velocity diet, the old one, you know, just six protein shakes a day for 28 days. That's so hard. At the end of it, man, you'd better look better because <laughs> that's so hard to do. Uh, that's a classic bus bench program. Certain peaking programs are classic bus bench uh, training programs. Park bench is what I do most of the time. I just go in the gym, kind of like I did today. Today was, a, I'm coming off a weight Olympic lifting meet, so today I did presses, chins, and curls, you know. Uh, I, I think I did a lot of sets of presses. I'm pretty sure it was eight sets of eight. I did a set of chins after every one. Uh, of those and then I did some curls because there was a bar sitting there that's all I could think of doing and I didn't want to do anything else because I had been shoveling snow so that is a classic park bench workout um, <laughs> I'm not going to sit down and say yes this is what I'll do for six months and then I'll be Mr. Olympia uh, it's just a good program it's fun to do um, this is the one thing that may annoy you or may make you happy is that no matter what I hear or get into or any book I read, I always find some a clue in there that'll make me a better coach or better athlete or whatever. It's funny as I say that, I just looked down here. I was rereading my first public ar published article the other day, A New Look at the Beowulf Poet. It's my first published article. Um, and I, I even look at it now and go, I use the concepts to talk about diet and exercise. So, so yeah, I, I think you'll, I, I, I haven't done Slade's program, and I'm, but I've done something very similar. And what hurt me doing it, of course, was the hard, the hard snowstorms. And I think I just got, I just shoveling snow. And even if you have, I mean, I have all the stuff, but it's still hard work when you're in the middle of snow season. Lean made simple. If I could do it again, I would do it probably in July. Okay? Good question, and thank you.